This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at naming branch chain alkanes. Branch chain alkanes have branches which are alkyl substituents. Alkyl substituents include CH3, which is a methyl group, and C2H5, which is an ethyl group. On the left, we have a straight chain alkane. On the right, we have a branched chain alkane. In straight chain alkanes, the carbon atoms are connected in a continuous chain with no branches. This example is C5H12, which is pentane. Branch chain alkanes have alkyl groups, which are bonded to the main carbon chain. In this example on the right, we have a methyl group, which is a branch coming off the longest carbon chain. We'll look at how to name this branch chain alkane in the next slide. The first step is to identify the longest continuous carbon chain. In this example on the left, the longest continuous carbon chain is four carbon atoms. This gives us the root or stem of the name, which in this example is butane. The second step is to identify and number the position of the branches, giving them the lowest number possible. So in this example, we have a methyl group, which is bonded to carbon number two. And the last step, if more than one alkyl group is attached to the main carbon chain, we use the prefixes di, tri, etc. In this example, we only have one branch, so these prefixes are not necessary. The name of this branched alkane is 2-methylbutane. The number 2 refers to the position of the methyl group on the longest carbon chain. The stem of the name is butane because the longest continuous carbon chain is 4 carbon atoms. So next we look at some more examples. In this molecule, the longest continuous carbon chain is 5 carbon atoms. This gives the stem of the name, which in this example is pentane. We have a methyl group on carbon number 2. Therefore, the name of the compound is 2-methylpentane. In our next example, the longest continuous carbon chain is 3 carbon atoms. We have two branches, which are both methyl groups, and both are on carbon number 2. So this molecule is named 2,2-dimethylpropane. In the next example, the longest carbon chain is five carbon atoms. In this molecule, we have two methyl groups bonded to carbon number two and carbon number three. Therefore, the name of this molecule is 2,3-dimethylpentane. In our next example, the longest carbon chain is six carbon atoms. In this molecule, we have an ethyl group on carbon number three. The name of this molecule is 3-ethylhexane. And now we look at our last two examples. In this molecule, the longest carbon chain is six carbon atoms. There are two methyl groups on carbon number three and carbon number four. Therefore, the name of this molecule is 3-4-dimethylhexane. And here we have our last example. The longest carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. There are two branches. We have a methyl group on carbon number two and an ethyl group on carbon number three. The name of this molecule is 3-ethyl-2-methylpentane. Note that because E comes before M in the alphabet, ethyl comes first and methyl comes second, which gives 3-ethyl-2-methylpentane.